is lovable fundamentally <laughs> Is Lovable fundamentally broken from an SEO perspective? What exactly is this problem that people keep talking about? Can we fix it just with prompting or is there a more in-depth problem at the structural level within Lovable that means it can never be fixed? Will this be solved by Lovable 2? And does any of this even matter? Considering the speed at which we can spin up prototypes and spin up small websites, are we getting obsessed about SEO when it really isn't such a big deal? My really good buddy Elliot's joined me. He is a senior tech developer, software engineer. Uh, he knows like everything I don't know from a technical perspective, which, as we know, is a lot. So the problem, as I understand it, and I might stick a few tweets up at this point, is that there is something wrong with the way that client-side versus server-side rendering is handled with all lovable sites. Mm -hmm. what, what does that actually mean from, from a search engine optimization perspective? When these Vibe coders generate the websites, they often rely purely on JavaScript and single-page applications to do it. And what that means is a lot of the HTML that would usually be embedded on the website is absent, and therefore there's not much for the search engines to pick up on. Right, and we saw that. You told me just by viewing the source code, of, or viewing the source of some of the sites that I've launched, you can you can see that directly, right? Cool, okay, so yeah, for instance, we take this one, which was just a bit of a fun idea of, of AI agency West Sussex. If I hit on that and, and view the page source, you will see none of these headings are coming across, none of this body text. Mm -hmm. is actually a visible when we get down to a purely an SEO, like in terms of what the bot sees when it lands. Because a Google bot's going to be, doesn't actually visually sense what the site is, does it? It needs to read yeah. it at a, a back end level. So no good, no good for a local service business in this, with SEO in mind directly, right? How do we fix this? So you asked me to go away and just start trying to fix this directly and just by asking Lovable? So my thought process being that Lovable is attempting just to purely spit out React, um, where it doesn't need to for something like this. Maybe it would be nice in certain contexts to use a web framework, but at the end of the day, a simple website like this, uh, what's the website we're talking about? The home maintenance website. Uh, it could just be a purely HTML, a static HTML website, and then we could use something like React just to enhance certain aspects of it. Right, okay, so we so you asked me to do that, progressively enhanced web app. It went away and did something. Then you told me to put convert my PWA into a fully functional HTML-based web page. You said it did it, mm -hmm. but obviously it didn't, right? Did because it. when we look at the yeah. West Sussex published page, it's not actually performed it. So, so it's not told me there's a limitation there. It's just not gone ahead and added from an SEO perspective or from, a, from an HTML perspective. It, it's that done some it, stuff. It did a bit, yeah. So what do we do from here? You went away to the Git. I, I gave you access to the to the GitHub. Yeah. So just as a proof of concept, uh, I followed some docs on. So Lovable uses V under the hood. Um, What's V? What is V? That's a good question. It's it's the build engine basically that Lovable uses to compile all the JavaScript or TypeScript or JSX, which is what React uses. Um, to generate your HTML and, and JavaScript and CSS from. Um, so yeah, on the Vite documentation, uh, there's a web page all about server-side rendering. Yes, yeah, so if we can render some of this content server-side, we can ensure that it ends up in the HTML of the final website. Uh, and Vite, the build engine that Lovable uses, has a really good page on how to, how to implement that yourself. Um, and when I say really good, I mean you can go on there and you can control A, control C, control V into your Git repo and you can get, as a proof of concept, something server-side rendering. Um, the problem I've run into in doing that is that, yes, it worked as a proof of concept, and I managed to get something server-side rendering, which was a, a test string. Got string of text, yeah. Yeah, that I put in, but the rest of the uh, generated lovable website did, did not have any textual content that ended up on the, the page source. We've tried to prompt engineer our way to get Veek installed, going as far as to go and shove it in <laughs> and then take it, to go in, go in. So we let, we let Lovable build a project. Then we came in, tore it all out, shoved Veek in and then gave it back to Lovable. Yeah. So here you go. And it's here trying, it's trying to do something. That's amazing. And look what's been built while we were doing that. An even yeah. better version of the site. And does this use Veek? <laughs> oh, it's so cool. This is, this is off the back of the Veek. Thing, I think, isn't it? Can you look at the the HTML? <laughs> I'm just enjoying the site right now. 
domain subdomain. So why does the preview work within here and it doesn't work within the? That's a question. This I just runs answer. within an iframe, right? If you look at the source for this, or in frame sport. source. Yeah, view frame sport. Say the frame source, and then get rid of view source at the beginning. Like that. Yeah. So it works in here. It's just an iframe. But is there any is there any SSO for this? Search, go in there, search for 2003. Oh, yeah. SEO. <laughs> He's got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Interesting. So we have effectively d done it. <laughs> We've done it. By hook or by crook. <laughs> In conclusion, Elliot, you have successfully, with my help, got to a point that, moving over to the screen recording here, mm. we were able to develop a website. It doesn't need to look like this, but it does because we made something fun and a bit stupid. Developed a website that, on the back end, when you look at it, ha has server-side rendering included. Yes. Amazing. However, when you go to actually try and view that site, it's showing not found. And what were you just saying about that? Yeah, I was saying, I don't, I don't really think this is an us problem. I think this is a lovable problem. Maybe it's not helped by the fact that we shoehorned in Veek into inside the lovables Git repo. Um, but yeah, just going off the back of, we can, we can run the iframe that was, okay, so. That's coming this, straight from here, right? Yeah, this content's all rendered in an iframe. We've just pulled the iframe's URL out and opened it up in a browser, and this runs absolutely fine. Is that um, I think, I don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hazard a guess that something to do with the way that the Lovable Preview website works, we've destroyed in the process of reverse engineering the, the Veek website. Yeah. yeah. But it, to a certain degree, works, and it works enough that we saw... The Google bot is picking up the correct headings and stuff. So, yeah. Interesting. Okay, cool. So, what does that mean for us? So, okay, cool. So, part one showed that there is potentially something there that can be fixed and that hopefully Lovable are going to realize this is something they need to address. Now, how concerning is this? If I'm using Lovable as a micro SaaS business looking to launch and build a micro SaaS from within it, initially, I think it's fine because then the mm -hmm. first section of traffic you're going to get as is should be the case is you go and invest in google ads you need to validate that google search is the method in which you're going to acquire users and the quickest way to do that is run google ads you run the ads and build a content plan that will back up your your paid acquisition and blend it with seo in this scenario that's not going to work right so yeah if i'm building a SaaS within lovable at the moment the risk is high. We're hoping they can fix this. We're hoping they will fix this. It feels like a no-brainer, right? Like they're oh, going to yeah. have to. They're yeah. going to have to address it. If I was thinking of this, approaching this from a web design point of view, like, oh my God, now I can make five-page websites really fast. I'm not so bothered. I think this actually is a really great, effective way to launch sites much faster and visually much more interesting with lead magnets and dynamic elements on those sites that look amazing on phones for extremely cheaply and extremely fast. In my opinion, a small business could have a five-page website that covers services. I expect this to be fully solved, whether by Lovable or whoever, whatever Lovable 2 is, or whatever the next great big SaaS builder vibe coding tool is. Something will be there. This will get you by. This could all change in the next two weeks. We just don't know. We'll keep going and looking around. We'll keep noodling with things, see if we can find a hacky mm -hmm. solution. But no doubt there'll be something uh, that comes up that we can use. Thanks so much. Share what you're building. If you found something that we've totally missed, we want to know because I want to work with this stuff. Really keen to hear from you. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, Elliot, thanks for coming along. I know you travelled a long way oh, from yes. Five Doors Down. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Indeed. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how good this is, the mm, smoky. It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's eight and a half percent.